Hello my beautiful babies, I'm back with a video. Um, so this video is a kind of summer makeup routine slash no makeup makeup look and it's just kind of a really really simple, really basic look that I've been wearing a lot lately. Late, <laughs> a lot lately. Um, so now that it's, well it's not technically summer, but now that it's summer I'm trying to not wear as much makeup. This is just kind of a look that I've been wearing a lot lately so keep watching and I will uh, see you in a bit. So I just uh, prepped my face with this facial sunscreen from Lancome, it's just a little sample size. Um, so now that I'm ready for makeup, the first thing that I'm going to do is put on some concealer. So I'm using the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer and I'm using a little bit of a lighter shade. This is in Light Warm and I'm just going to put that under my eyes. This is just going to highlight a little bit, I'm not doing a whole bunch of you know, contouring and highlighting but this kind of just helps. A little bit, so I'm just popping it in the usual places. I'm taking this tiny um, little beauty blender thing. I'm gonna blend it out. Okay, so then I'm gonna go in with another shade. This is in medium neutral. Um, this is a little bit darker, and we're just going to cover any blemishes or anything like that. So I have my concealer on, and now I'm going to skip foundation just because it's really heavy in the summer. So I'm going to be using a powder. This is a Smash... <sighs> Smashbox. Um, Photo Filter Powder Foundation in 7, I think is the shade, anyways. And I'm just going to be using a large buffer brush, and I'm just patting it on kind of lightly. And this is for coverage, but also, as you can see, my face is definitely not as dark as my body, so this is just, oh my god, this is just going to even it out a little bit. Make me look like a human, not like I'm wearing a white mask. So next I'm going to do blush and I'm using my same Morphe brush pal blush palette that I've been using. This is pretty much all I use. I'm just using a big blush brush and I'm going to be using, I usually switch this part up but today I'm going to use this kind of light pink um, kind of peachy color. really small travel size of a hula bronzer and I'm using a little brush and I'm just gonna put a little bit on my nose and this is contour brush and uh, depending on what I'm doing for the day I will do a bit of highlighting but I think I'm gonna skip that today just because I'm going for a more natural look so just gonna do the basics um, and now I'm going to move on to eyebrows so I usually when I'm doing a full face I'll have like my big bold brows but since this is a more kind of natural look I'm gonna just do a really tame <laughs> natural looking brow so I'll use my um, brow wiz Anastasia brow wiz just to fill in the tail because my eyebrows on the ends are kind of black so I just like to even it out with this to use and it stays longer than just powder. Oh, it just fell off the tree in my room. So, I'm just doing the brow, tail, and I kind of just, I don't know, eyeball it and see if there's any other spots that are kind of a bit more sparse and I just kind of through the room a little bit and then wow. I'm taking this little 
little tiny uh, stiff angled brush and I'm just going to fill it in the front with a bit of powder just to make them a little bit um, bigger. So I'm using the Tarlet and Bloom palette and I'm using the shade Jet Setter. It's like a Toby Brown and I'm just kind of brushing that in the front. I like the really feathery eyebrows in the summertime because it looks really natural but really nice. So that's kind of the look I'm going for. Um, so for eyeshadow, I really don't do much. Um, Lately what I've been doing is just using, pretty much just covering my lid in the same shade Jet Setter that I use for my eyebrows. So that I'm just going to pop on my lid. I know that's super, super boring, but I just find it looks natural, but it kind of gives a little bit more oomph to the look. Um, and then if I'm feeling crazy, I'll use Firecracker, which is like a shimmery um, tone. It's a little darker. And I'll kind of just pat that over the same area. So I just finished my eyebrows on my eyeshadow and I hope you guys can see the kind of look if it's focused and zoomed in. So this is what it looks like. Um, and then usually I'll just pop on mascara but since I'm doing a tutorial I sometimes do this. Um, I'll take another angled brush and I'll take Activist, which is a black-brown shade, and I will just really kind of roughly line my lashes. This just makes them look fuller when there's mascara on. mascara that I'm using is the L'Oreal Lash Blast Volume, which I'm not crazy about, I'm not going to lie to you. Um, so I'm kind of looking, I've been pretty much looking for new mascara for like six months, but you know, whatever. Um, I was using the Better Than Sex one and I loved it, but I find that it really kind of smudges, like I'll always have like black on my go back to it just because I like the way it makes my brush look so we'll see I don't know I find this formula just is too wet for my taste and I have like a little bit more there okay so we're almost done uh, the last thing that I'll do is just put a lip gloss on um, or like a lip chap. Now I'm not really a big fan of lip gloss. I usually never wear lip gloss. If I'm putting anything on my lips, it's usually a matte lipstick. But um, I've been kind of feeling this one lately. It is the Too Faced Lip Injections Extreme um, Plumping Gloss. Um, it works, kind of. Like, obviously, it doesn't make my lips as big as I want them to be because I want them to be gigantic. But, you know, whatever. It kind of adds something and makes me feel cool. So. And it is clear, but it looks a little pink just because I had applied it over a lipstick a while ago and then it kind of transferred on into the tube. Gross, whatever. This is the finished look. Um, I hope you guys liked it. And uh, make sure you subscribe and like and blah, 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 blah. You know the freaking drill. Um, and also make sure you watch my last video, my product versus product self tanner video, because I have a very exciting um, giveaway in that video, so there's still time to enter. Um, I'm waiting until I, the tanner comes in to announce when I will be um, announcing the winners. So you have quite a while to enter, but make sure you go and watch that video. Uh, and definitely follow me on all of my other social media, which will be linked down below and will be at the end of the video. So definitely share this video with all of your friends and let me know if you what you want to see next from me. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.